Hi guys, welcome back to Chemistry 24 into 7 series. In this series, we have been exploring the solution for previous year competitive exam papers. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification. Let's see what's today's problem. So this is the problem from CSER 2014. According to this question, so this substrate reacts with tributyl tin hydride A, B and which produce one product. So here you see there are four options. Let's figure out together which one is the correct option for this question. Tributyl tin hydride reagent we have already discussed in our channel in three parts. Preparation, reactivities and application. If anyone missed that video, don't worry, you can find a link in the description box below. So, when you come to this reaction, when you take the tributyl tin hydride ABN which quickly react together to form tributyl tin radical. So this tributyl tin radical going to react with this substrate. So here you see how this happened. So this tributyl tin radical quickly abstract the bromine atom which resulting that cleavage of carbon bromine bond homolytically to produce this new carbon center radical. So this carbon center radical going to react with alkene by radical cyclization reaction. So for, for that you just start the numbering. So here 1, 2, 3 and 4, 5, 6. So in general radical cyclization reaction, the formation of small membered ring is favored when compared to the larger ring system. So based on that, the five member ring formation is favored when compared to the six member ring system. So therefore, this radical cyclization undergo by phi exo trick cyclization. Therefore, this radical react with alkene by phi exo trick cyclization. So this produce this corresponding carbon center radical. So in this step, you should note it down the stereochemistry of this reaction. So here you see this alkyl part present at the top phase. Therefore, this radical cyclization also takes place by top phase, which resulting that. So here you see this hydrogen present at the bottom phase. Well, this radical also going to radical cyclization with this alkyne. So here, just like our previous case, you start the numbering. So here you see, so this is the first position. So you just start the number like that. So you will end up with sixth position here. So just like uh, in our previous case, so here also the formation of small ring system is favored when compared to the six member ring system. So based on that here also, five member ring formation is favored. So this radical cyclization undergo by Phi exotic cyclization, so which resulting that produce this new carbon center radical. So here also you should note it down the stereochemistry. So here you see this alkane part lying at the bottom phase. Therefore, this radical cyclization also takes place by bottom phase, which resulting that this methyl group coming top phase. So now you see this carbon center radical quickly abstract the hydrogen atom from tributyl tin hydride which produce this corresponding product. So based on our discussion, the among the four answer, the correct answer for this question is answer A. So that's it for today's problem. So I hope this explanation has helped you are understanding this question. If you enjoyed this video, please do a nice gesture and hit the like button. And we stay motivated to create more much content for you. And don't forget to subscribe, Kim or Kim. And finally, thanks for watching. Bye bye.